マトカが参りますご注意ください Hey friends, what's good? So today is a little bit different from what I usually talk about on the channel because it has been such a different experience and especially like such a learning curve throughout the past few months. I wanted to talk about it like pretty openly. And that is YouTube monetization. Now, I'll be honest, before I got monetized, before I reached a thousand subscribers, which is the amount of subscribers you need in order to become monetized, I didn't know anything about monetization. I didn't really have any friends that I was reaching out to who actually did YouTube at the time or actually reached that threshold in order to know very much about monetization in the first place. So, most of the things that I learned、uh, was Just from experiencing it on my own, as well as listening to other YouTubers talk about it on their channels. But it really is a thing that is dependent on your own channel because everyone has different content, everyone has a different audience. And so the process can be kind of different for everyone. So I just wanted to share my experience and By doing that, I'm just gonna share the revenue that I made in 2020 as well. And so I'm hoping this will help anyone who is trying to reach that 1000 subscriber threshold in order to get monetized. And I have a good amount of friends now who are on that boat. They're in the hundreds right now, but they're slowly making their way, or not really slowly, they're pretty quickly making their way to that、uh, 1K subscriber mark. So if you are, My friend, or know me, and you've been working on your channel. I wish you luck. Let's collab once the world calms down. And,、um, you know, if you're、uh, just someone here for the information as well, I also wish you luck too. But let's just go ahead and I'll talk about my experiences with monetization, the process that I had to go to before I show you the actual analytics. <laughs> So, before I actually got monetized,、um, when I first started the channel, there was actually a way for you to get into the partner program before actually reaching a thousand subscribers. So, it made the process a lot faster because normally what happens is you reach a thousand subscribers, then you have a waiting period for YouTube to verify your 1000 subscribers, and then they will accept you into the YouTube partner program, which means Monetization. That is not necessarily the case anymore. You're not able to prematurely sign up for the YouTube Partner Program, especially because of coronavirus. There is a delay in things as well. So don't expect to get to a thousand subscribers and then bam, here comes my check. You know, that's not going to happen. And even if you are accepted into the Partner Program early, you're still not getting money anytime soon. Let me tell you that. But I was accepted into the Partner Program a few days after I reached a thousand. Subscribers, which was very fast because I did that sign up earlier. However, I did not actually start receiving money、um, for a little bit after that because it takes some time to generate that money and generate that ad revenue, right? So, first, what I had to do was actually monetize all the videos that I wanted to monetize.、Uh, I ended up trying to monetize most of them, but there were just some that were like way back when that I knew. Weren't gonna do well anyway, so I just skipped a bunch of those and monetized my more recent, more popular videos that I knew were performing pretty well. Now, when I show you my monetization track record, because I've only been monetized for maybe two months now, a little bit over two months. So, when I give you the whole 2020 rundown of my revenue, it's still not gonna be a lot compared to someone who's been monetized and posting from January 1st to now. It's still gonna be a Good amount. I was like pretty surprised、uh, just because it really hasn't been that long. For me, it really had to do with the popularity of certain videos. If you don't know how the monetization works, you get a certain amount of the ad revenue for each 1,000 views that you get. Per video, and that is kind of collectively over your whole channel. However, different ads can play on different videos, and each ad has a certain ad revenue. So, some ads are worth a lot more than other ads. So, it kind of just depends on the ads that YouTube put on your video and the percentage of ad revenue that you get from that. So, depending on your content, depending on、um, the views. There's so many things that go into、uh, calculating that ad revenue that you actually get. So, I wouldn't have any high expectations when you first start out. 
um, or basically ever just because it's constantly changing. Most of my ad revenue comes from one video, which if you're familiar with the channel, then you probably already know of it. It's my Kiss Anime was canceled video. Like, I think right now it's at over 250,000 views, which of course is my highest video um, count ever for views. I'm very happy, very grateful um, that people even like paid attention to that particular video because at the time it was um, a good talking point for sure, but the quality of the video was not like amazing, I didn't think. So yeah, as you will see, um, a lot of the revenue comes from that video. Before I show you the analytics, I just want to quickly go through from being a partner or being accepted into the partner program, which is the 1000 subscriber mark, to actually getting your money. That was a big stretch for me. And honestly, I still haven't received like the money in my bank account yet, just because it was a process. So I wanted to give a few tips for that interim between actually getting a thousand subscribers and then actually receiving your money. So you collect your money through Google AdSense. You're only able to cash out once you meet the threshold, which is a hundred dollars. So once you get a hundred dollars, then you're able to cash out. Before you can even think about cashing out, you need to verify your Google AdSense account. And that doesn't mean receiving an email with a code. It means the code is mailed to you. And this can take uh, two to four weeks, they usually say. For me, it took six weeks and I needed to go back and reapply for that code again because I feel like they forgot or something. I'm not necessarily sure. So beware about that. You're not getting your money instantly, especially because you need to wait for that code in your mail, like your physical mail. And you gotta make sure that you have an address that's legit to mail it to as well. But once you get that, then you're able to actually attach a payment processor to your account so that you can receive that money. There's another tricky part though. I can only speak for people who are living in America because I am, but to attach an account to the Google AdSense in order to get your money, you need to have a bank, a physical bank from your location. Um, for me, a physical bank that is in America. Now, my whole big plan was because, you know, YouTube is basically freelance. I wanted to create a separate account just for YouTube money, um, just so I can take out 30% for taxes and make sure that the money is not jumbled up with other money that I have or will have in the future. I don't have any money right now, whatever. For doing that, I opened a Chime account because I thought it was the easiest. However, at least with Chime, you know, it's an online banking system. So it's not recognized by Google AdSense. So you're not able to actually put your money from Google AdSense into Chime. Luckily, I have a few other bank accounts that actually have physical branches. So I was able to use one of those in order to collect the money. But for people who are using, you know, basically online banking systems that don't have a location, uh, kind of are out of luck. They also don't just mail checks to your address or anything like that. Everything is through direct deposit. So you need to think about that. Otherwise, the only thing you really need to do is um, submit your tax information so that you're a legit person who gets taxed and otherwise you're just good. That process, as easy as it is to be explained, it's very hard to navigate through. So it took me quite a while and I just got it done recently. So I still haven't received any money from Google AdSense because they automatically uh, direct deposit that money into your account monthly, depending on if you reach the threshold or not. And so I reached the threshold but I didn't have any bank account information in, so I didn't get the money. So I should get it next month, I believe. One more thing I do wanna note is you're not gonna be getting the money on the first of each month. It usually takes about a week to 10 days in order for YouTube to verify how much money you actually got through ad revenue because something that's a little different now compared to before is you're not able to see your YouTube revenue statistics on Google AdSense. Everything is through the YouTube studio. And then at the beginning of the month, the YouTube studio starts to calculate how much revenue you've actually earned. And then it goes into your Google AdSense. And without further ado, let's just hop into my statistics. Okay, so right now I'm on my channel analytics. Lately, things have been looking a little bit down, I believe, just because I haven't posted a video since November 20... 
what is this, 25th, and then I just posted one uh, yesterday. So as you can see, I do like for a thousand, what, 249 subscribers, I do like pretty decent with views and watch time and my subscriber count is slowly but surely moving up and as you can see at least in the last 90 days which is actually pretty accurate because i only got monetized at the beginning of october so it i've only had monetization for less than 90 days so for 2020 um and for right now, which is December 14th, so halfway through the month, I have made $186.91. Now for a channel who has been monetized for a whole year, um, but maybe has about a thousand subscribers or more, it kind of depends on how many views that channel gets. So they might make this much or a lot more depending on their view count, but they might make a lot less if they're getting less views per video so it very much depends on the channel for sure but let's just go into the revenue tab right here and it says for the last 90 days my estimated revenue yes 186 dollars and 91 cents which started um october 6 i made my first 10 cents how exciting um and then i was posting from october um 6 to november ish like towards the end of november i was posting pretty frequently however a lot of the top earnings comes from one video which is kiss anime was canceled i made 164 dollars and 20 cents off of that video and something to point out is that video was up for saturday august 15th i published that video and so it was up for, let me do math, calm down, guys, I can do math, I'm Asian, okay? Yeah, so it was up for probably a month and a half before I actually got monetized. So all the views that I got between that month and a half when I wasn't monetized, I didn't get any money for that. I only got money when I started being monetized, which was October 6th. So let's see how many views I got until October 6, which is right here. I already had 196,886. My brain is not working today. I'm sorry. I got 196,886 views uh, from August to October 6, which is a lot. <laughs> Like my, my most viral video is this and people might think it's not necessarily viral, but I had a hundred subscribers and I was getting like not very many views on each video. This was like pretty killer. So 196,886 views. Now it has 264,284 views. So that's probably around, uh, yeah, that's around 65,000 views from October 6th until now. And that's where I'm getting my revenue from. Think about if I got revenue throughout the whole video from zero views to 264,000 views. I would have more money, I would hope. I probably would have a lot more money for sure. But you know, you gotta be grateful for what you have right now, which is some money. And I'm perfectly happy with that. So yeah, I feel like that's important to note, but we're going to go back to the revenue. And so as you can see, like it's not making a whole lot of money per day. Like, you know, you make a lot more money working a job than you do um, just waiting for views. And there are dips, but it also comes back up as well. Like a peak here is $4.34. It was down to 46 cents. And so it really just depends, like the value of the ad, like, or the ad revenue, it fluctuates all the time. So you're never gonna be making the same amount of money per day. It's not standard, it's not fixed. It's always changing. And so it's just something that you need to consider. Like this could easily, like this dip could easily have kept going for a good amount of time. And I wouldn't have had as much revenue for sure. Like we can look at some of these smaller top earning videos as well. And most of these only have reached like the thousands in views. Um, this is the second one. It's gotten 3,421 views and the estimated revenue is $6.58. 
which is still pretty good for something that um, hasn't gotten a whole lot of views. It really depends on the ads for sure because this view, this uh, video is probably getting around uh, $2 and uh, 20 cents for every thousand views that it gets and one other thing to note the monthly revenue the monthly estimated revenue so it is estimated which means there's going to be a differentiation when it actually goes into your adsense account you might think wow why didn't i get as much money as it estimate it in YouTube. Well, it's an estimate, so don't get your hopes up too high. As you can see for October, I did the best. November is starting to go down. December, it's halfway through the month, so it's probably even going to be lower than November for sure. Note that I made $89 in October, but I still wasn't able to cash out because it doesn't reach that $100 threshold. But I had to wait until December so it could calculate what I made in November so I actually reached that threshold. You can set your ad types as well. You can set where you want your ads to play, your ad types, whether you want it in the beginning, the middle, the end, or throughout the whole video. I mainly use skippable video ads just because as someone who does watch YouTube as well, if I'm just like trying to watch a video and a full ad shows up that I can't skip, it makes me not really want to watch the video in the first place, right? So I think skippable video ads are the best. They might not make you the best amount of money, but I think you're kind of also relying on your viewers to enjoy the video that they're watching, right? So give them the best ad experience or the ad experience that you would want when watching a video. People want to make money, right? And you want to support creators as well. So you want to make sure to watch ads or you want to try and watch ads, depends. But you also don't want to take advantage of that as well. That's my thinking, I don't know. You guys can do whatever you want. Yeah, I have no judgment. But yeah, I think I am going to wrap that up here. If you have any questions about uh, monetization and ad revenue and stuff like that, I am no expert, so it might be better to go to a YouTube channel that actually specializes in that kind of stuff. But I can talk through like pure experience and the trials and tribulations that I had to go to in order to get monetized and figure out the process and everything like that. So leave a comment down below if you have any questions or anything you really kind of want to know about my experience at least with YouTube monetization. I'm sure for everyone it's gonna be a little bit different and everyone kind of has their own way to do it. Also, if you like videos of me talking about my YouTube experience, because I am like new. Like I've been doing this for a while, but I've never like done it, done it. Like I've just posted shit and it's been okay. And now I'm posting shit and I'm getting money as well. And I other people are actually watching it besides like, my dog like it still is a new experience for me and i'm learning things all the time so if you want me to talk a little bit more about my channel and everything i'm experiencing make sure to like this video also if you haven't please subscribe because it really makes my day and i'll see you next time peace